Hi everyone. Today, <laughs> I want to quickly talk about this topic. And uh, it is titled, What is Proxy Marriage? And reasons why it is not advisable. Okay, that's my opinion. I'm con- coming here to talk about what I feel. Okay, so that's why we have the comment section. When I'm done, you listen to me. If you feel I'm not right, you put it right. You put it right down there at the comment section if you do not agree with me. And if you agree with me, you can also put it there. Okay, so what is proxy marriage and reasons why it is not advisable? What exactly is proxy marriage? Some people call it marriage in essentia. <laughs> but you both know too much. <laughs> okay, so proxy marriage is the situation whereby one out of the two persons involved in a relationship is not available on their wedding day. The situation whereby one at both parties that are in a relationship is not present on their wedding day. Probably the person is abroad, okay? The person may be abroad and may not be able to be around, to be on ground on their wedding day. Okay, that is proxy marriage, you know? Um, I think the other one is called double proxy. That's when both partners are not available, okay, on their wedding day. You know, maybe it's just the parents of the, the both of them that are just going to meet, okay, to talk about them and then pay the bride price, you know, while they are not around, okay? So if you ask me uh, proxy marriage or double proxy marriage, which one do you prefer? I think... If both of them are abroad and they are together and they want their traditional um, marriage to be done and they are not there, it's a different ball game. Ah, that one is okay. It's, it's, it's a win-win thing for them. Okay, that means the family because even in, even if they are present, the families uh, are the important people in the wedding because they are the ones to talk, they are the ones to collect the bride price and all that. So if they do it while you are online watching them, both of you are doing your thing over there while they are doing theirs here, it's a different ball game. But what I am here to talk about is when it is just proxy marriage. Only one person is present and the other person is not present, okay? And the... Not just that the person is not present, somebody else will be representing the person, okay? Like the man is not around, is abroad, Um, the woman is around, so probably the man's brother will be the one to be present. Some may ask their friend, it depends on who they want to represent them, okay? But most times it's from the family, they pick somebody to stand for them. Okay, as a man, somebody is standing for you on your wedding day. Okay, and as a woman, somebody is standing for you on your wedding day uh, because you are not available due to reasons best known to you people. Okay, it's um, that is what we are talking about today. Okay, if you look at, I'm a Christian, like I keep saying here, I'm a Christian, so most times I want to see it from how I know it. Okay, in the Bible, (laughs) it is written that a man will leave his father and mother and join to his wife, and both of them will become one. Okay, both of them will become one. That means they are coming together to be one. So I don't understand a situation whereby somebody will be available and another person will be representing that person on the day that they are going to formalize the marriage. So that is why I, number one, see it as not right. Okay, I see it as not proper. Eh? Okay, so now we are going to see outline reasons, the few reasons I've been able to put down why it is not advisable. Okay, number one, on your wedding day, there's supposed to be emotional and spiritual connection on your wedding day. You know, that kind of a thing now. 
that dinner, everybody did dance, you know. If not they together, you know, don't pay the bride price. There is this, you may even end up, you know, kissing yourselves. You may end up, you know, there's, there's supposed to be a vibe, a connection between both of you. And so if you are stand, somebody is standing for your partner, how would you do that? You'll not be holding back, okay? While, you know, trying to restrict yourself from certain things. Ah, you get as it be. You get as it be. Truth not me, they're not talking, okay? You get as it be. So that connection is supposed to be there on that day. But you see that you are kind of restricted, because it is actually not your partner that is there with you, which is not advisable. Like the Igbos, uh, let me use them as an example. You, they, you need to take a cup of wine and search and search and search for your partner. That wine is given to only the person that is supposed to be called your husband and the person drinks the wine, okay? So if your partner is not around, who do you give the cup of wine to? Ask yourself. Is the person you are giving it to actually your husband? That's my question. So if you are giving it to somebody that is representing your husband, <laughs> I feel in the, realm, in the spiritual realm, that person is recognized as your husband. So I don't know. To me, I feel it is not advisable. Okay? That is number one. Number two, the person standing for your husband, you know, like the devil can take advantage of this kind of situation. That's why you see on the internet people complaining. Hey, I said the, the 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 my sister should stand for me. I said my brother should stand for me. At the end, they started having something doing. So they started having something together, and now my sister is pregnant, and now my brother has impregnated my wife. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> is. She actually your wife? Is he actually your husband? No. <laughs> we'll face reality. Hmm? He is not your husband. She is not your wife. It is that person that is present that is actually married to him or her. So let's face reality. If distance is a problem, you people should wait. If you cannot wait, everybody walk out. You go meet your own. He or she go meet his or her own. Okay, so there's no point tying each other down when you know it's not possible for you people to be together. One is in East, the other one is in West. And to meet each other, it's not easy. Eh? Maybe the person you marry now, they are abroad, they never get uh, Bali, never get paper. Eh? Before you go get a fee, you've reached 10 years. And you are marrying the person. How would the thing now work? So are you going to stay for 10 years? Or you will now hustle your own way and go and meet the person. If you know it will be easy for you to hustle your way and go and meet the person, it's all well and good. But if it is not possible, if you look right, look left, look front, look center, you see, say, no way. You look back, no way to go meet the person easily. There is no point entering it. Because if you enter, it gets as it be. It may end up bringing problem to you. We've seen so many on the internet like that where people are complaining. Okay, that the pe people that represented them have taken over their spouses. <laughs> then number three. So that, number two, I, after saying that number one and two, we can now see that it is not advisable. So let's go to number three. As a man or woman, how do you carry out your conjugal role or duty? You know now, you don't marry. So you get duty to fulfill you get things to do as a man, as a woman, okay? When it is time for SEX, what will happen? Nobody, okay? So even if the person keep his or herself for one year, two years, three years, four years, some they don't have more, 10 years, and they don't have more, but it is not common, okay? So if you come, they can't wait, wait, wait. After some years, they can't, they don't feel wait again. They can't go out, you will not say they are cheating on you. How is it possible? That's why before you take this decision, I would advise you think twice. Because that marriage, husband day east, wife day west, it's not easy for them to travel to meet each other. It's not, it's not, it's not bad if it's 
easy for them to meet each other anytime. Maybe the man free travel come, he don't get money, he don't get paper, and the woman free travel go because you know it's easy for her. Then it's a different bargain, but the situation whereby both of them are stuck. That one they stuck there, this one they stuck here, and you are marrying her. The thing get as it be, it is not advisable. Then finally, I said. In uh, this type of marriage, this it can be very common and easy. Yes. Okay. Somebody can be talking to you for two years, three years. You'll say you don't get used to them. You love yourselves. And at the end, you you just give your heart to the person. Not knowing that the person has a spouse over there. If you don't marry there now, you're not going to know. But they tell you story here and there. Okay. You see, at the end, the time you will find out. Finally, that the person is married. If he be say two years don't pass, three years don't pass, even four, five years, we don't pass. And if it pass like that, you don't waste how many years of your time, of your age, waiting for somebody that is, that has never been there. Okay, so that's why I know the two advice. You know this proxy marriage. Okay, if you love on yourself too much, say okay after two years, three years you will come. Wait for the two or three years to elapse. Let the person come. They will not do a marriage and plan how to return back together, okay? If the person is coming here to stay, plan how the person will come here, can't stay. So you po- will sit down and plan. That's where communication also comes in, okay? So that is my own take on proxy marriage, okay? Love is not enough, fool. It is not, you know? At times we feel love is enough. I love him. I love her. And at the end of it, when one year don't pass, second year don't go, third year, five years, ten years, you see, you don't do, oh, nobody, they want to say hello again. Eh? You will discover, say, that love, it go fade, nothing they happen, it go fade. So, love is not enough. At times when we are loving, we should also use our brains. Think, this person that I'm loving, is it possible for us to be together? If it is possible for us to be together, then you can go ahead. But if you look right, look left, <laughs> you see, say, not possible. Let it be. Let the person go, okay? What you love, you let go. If it's your own, he or she will come back and you people will meet again. But if you are not meant to be as they go, they go. Nothing they happen, okay? You are not tied to that person. But if God says you people will be, you will always meet yourselves again, okay? It doesn't mean that if somebody is abroad, you cannot marry the person, but be sure that you're meeting yourselves. It's going to be easy. Some can wait for 10 years, and they won't have any problem. They may even end up as man and wife. Why some will wait for a few years if they are not able to wait, they start going around meeting one or two persons to satisfy them, which is very wrong. So if you don't want, you don't want. If you want, you want. So if I would just advise that you don't get involved when you know there is no hope of staying together. So for me, I advise that proxy marriage is not advisable, depending on the situation. If you know, (laughs) in fact, it is not advisable. It is not advisable, okay? If you know you can wait, wait for the person to come, then you both can get married. But if you cannot wait, then go ahead and look for somebody else. I don't know if I'm right. If you feel I'm right, put it down in the comment section. If you feel I am not right, also put it down at the comment section. Please comment, like, and share so that anybody that is planning to marry in uh, in proxy should think so that they can think uh, twice, okay? Anyone that wants to marry in proxy should think twice before they take the decision. Thank you so much. Follow me on Facebook, Joy Ojo, on YouTube, JJOE TV. Subscribe to my channel and then um, as the VIP that you are, when you click the notification bell, you'll be one of the first set of people to be sent notification whenever we post any content on IG's Joy underscore Yami and on TikTok. It is Lady J underscore Joy. Thank you. Please like, comment, and share. Bye for now. See you in the next episode. Ciao, ciao.